Hello everyone, I think we should be live now on the Facebook page. Thank you so much to everyone who is joining me today um, for today's stamp along. So we are going to be creating a fabulous project using the um, Poncetta Corners 3D embossing folder which is going to be gorgeous. So we're going to be doing a little bit of embossing, we're going to be doing some cutting out, we're going to be doing some layering with papers as well. So we've got lots and lots of techniques that are all going to be jam-packed into today's live. So, as always, if you have any problems with kind of connection or anything like that, it can be that your internet speed has just dropped a little bit. So if you just bear with us, the feed does normally come back and I will pop it onto the page that's like a recorded video afterwards and I'll also pop it onto the YouTube channel as well so you'll be able to catch up then. I know it still sounds a little bit echoey in here. We haven't quite got the, um, the soundproofing tiles up yet but hopefully they'll be going up very, very soon. So that should, fingers crossed, help with some of the problems that we've been having with um, the sand and things. Hello to everyone who's watching. So I can see we've got Janet, we've got Anne, we've got Tracy. Hello and Nicola as well. I hope that everyone is really well today and everyone is looking forward to starting crafting. So I'm going to pop the little materials list in for you all to have a little look at today. So this is the actual project that we're gonna be making. So you can see this one here using the gorgeous Poncetta Corners. So if you've got this embossing folder, this is actually the project from the packaging, okay? So you've already got the inspirational photo there. So if you haven't done so already, hop over at the website, pummiescreativecards.co.uk, and then if you scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on blog, you'll see that there's a full 3DF, 3, 3DF, what's one of the ones? <laughs> a full PDF free download on the website. So you can just click on there and download your instruction sheet and that'll give you step-by-step -step instructions as to how to make this project and how to make this card. Okay then, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna pop the materials list in now. So just give me two seconds. So this is what you are going to need today. So we are going to need the Chloe's Creative Cards um, Holly Tag Stamp and Die Set. So that is fabulous for um, doing your sentiments. You've got the gorgeous tag designs on there as well. And we're also going to need the Sparklicious Glitter in Red Poncetta and the Sparklicious Glitter in Silver Crystal, which I am absolutely loving. The Silver Crystal is such a gorgeous colour and I know that lots of you are loving it as well at home. And um, you're also going to need the 3D embossing folder in Poncetta Corners. Kind of essential, seeing as that is what this project is all about. You are, of course, going to need a die cutting machine as well to pop your 3D embossing folders through. And we are working on um, a sheet to pop on the website with all your plate combinations for 3D embossing folders. Because they are 3D, they are slightly thicker than your normal embossing folders, so you need to use a slightly different plate combination. You just don't want your sandwich quite as thick. Um, you're also going to need the bling box, Chloe's favourites, which isn't actually on the website yet. That's a little cheeky sneak peek there. Um, so that's just for the pearls in the background. And then um, you're also going to need the festive, festive Fancies bling box. So that's all those beautiful red crystals that you can see in the middle of the bowl and in the middle of the Poncetta corners as well. Um, the next one, we've got the Frosted Berries Luxe Ribbon, which is beautiful. So that's that lovely red ribbon with like the silvery thread through. You're going to need a white 7x7 seven seven straight edge card blank. So that's literally to make your base card up on. Um, we're also going to be using the Sparkling Christmas Mirror Card and the Sparkling Christmas Matte Mirror Card as well. You're going to need the Geometric Christmas Foiled Paper Pad and you're also going to need some Luxury Pearl Card in Crystal White. So that's your full list of materials today. Okay, so I'll just leave that up for a couple of minutes. I'm going to add one extra thing onto here as well. Sorry, I am leaving away a little bit. You're going to need a piece of either cut and dry foam or some blending foam and a red ink pad. Okay, and the reason for this is I'll show you when we get going, but we're going to do a little bit of inking on the edges of the poncettas because it'll just give you a more professional finish. Okay, so when we get going, I'll explain all about that. Or if you've got like a red Copic marker or anything like that, that'll work perfectly too. Okay then, I'm going to pop you around to the overhead camera so that you can see what I'm doing. So here we go, this is the project that we're going to be making. So I've actually got all of my mats and layers pre-put down. 
So again, if you hop over the blog on chloescreativecards.co.uk, you will see that there's a full free PDF download on there where you can go and grab all of the details for um, the, this particular project with your Macmillan layering sizes. Okay then, so to get going, I'm going to make the main topper first and then we'll come back and do the matte and layering a little bit later if that's okay. This camera doesn't quite look straight, does it today? I'm trying my best, okay? <laughs> so hopefully that's a little bit straighter there now. So I'll talk you through the plate combination that I use for my Gemini. So it's the standard combination for your 3D embossing folders. So you literally, oh you can tell I just stuck that bowl back on there, can't you? <laughs> the glue is not quite dry. So we're literally going to use our clear base plate and we're going to use the plastic chin. If you find that's not thick enough, you can add like a sheet of card or not the magnetic shim, but the metal shim, okay? So we're going to take our embossing folder and we're going to pop a piece of crystal white card into here, okay? Now the, to get the 3D design on the front, and this is important, you want the plain side of the folder. The back is the piece with Clubby's creative cards on there, okay? So we're going to pop this onto our plate and we're going to run this through our machine. So I'm using a Gemini machine. Okay. I'm not 100% sure of all the plate combinations for all the other machines because there are quite a lot and it is the Gemini that I use. But like I say, we are working on a sheet to go up on the website with those details on. So then you can see when we take that out of the folder, look at the beautiful 3D embossing that we've got on there. You can see how those petals are like sculpted on the poinsettias and you've got all of the little raised dots and everything as well. It is absolutely beautiful. So what we're going to go in and do to start with is we're going to trim this down to size. So to do that I'm going to use my guillotine because if you go in with your, um, if you go in with your dies and run it through your die cut machine, what you'll find is it'll kind of, um, it'll flatten your embossing because of the pressure of the machine. So in this case, I'm going to use my guillotine and just trim around the side, like so. So what I'm doing is pretty much the end of the line, I'm just lining up with the edge of my trimmer, so like this little white piece of paper here. Okay. Then you can see how that then starts to come together. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a little bit of scrap paper so let me just throw out a piece of that from here. And we're going to add a little bit of glue and a bit of glitter onto the swirls that we've got going on in the background here. So to do that, I'm going to use my Art Butter Dries Clear Glue. And I've got the little metal fine tip on the end as well. Okay, so that's this one here. And then we're just going to take our glue and we're going to just trace the swirls in the background. We're just going to work our way around. In filling that swirl there. And then we're going to take some of our silver crystal glitter, which is this one here. Okay, so I've got mine in a big tub. Okay, and it is absolutely gorgeous. So this one here is um, silver crystal. So if I hold that up to the camera, you can see how we've got the chunkier bits of silver in there and we've also got the finer bits as well, okay? So what we're gonna do is cover this with our glitter. A little scoop would be handy. But I don't think I've got one, so I'll just put a little piece of card off. And you can see what effect that then gives. Okay, really, really pretty. So what we're going to do is continue on and do the same with this swirl on this side here. So we're just going to work around adding our glue onto the swirls. And then we're going to cover this with the silver crystal again, like so. 
and then you can see how pretty that then starts to look just by adding that little bit of glitter just onto the background there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a little bit more embossing. So I've taken a piece of, I'm going to start off with a piece of the red mirror card. So this is like a really shiny red mirror. Okay, so this is from the Sparkling Christmas paper pad. Uh, not paper pad, sorry, mirror card pad. So I'm going to run this through our die cutting machine again. So I'm just using my base plate and my plastic shim. And then what we're going to do is place this into our folder, like so. And then we're just going to run this through. Again, it's really important that you make sure you're on this layer that you put these creative cards, little logo, is on the plain side of the mirror card because that's going to be your debossed side. If we flip this over, this is our embossed side, okay? So you can see the beautiful design that we've got in there. Okay, if I hold that up a little bit closer, there we go. You can really see the detail that you get on this embossing folder. It is absolutely beautiful. So what we're then going to do is just take a pair of scissors. This is always hard when you're trying to catch the light, especially when I'm working with a really bright light in front of me. So what we're going to do is just trim around the poinsettias and we're going to cut them out whole. So I'm just trimming along here to start with. And then we're going to just trim around these petals. So we're going to trim this piece out here. I think this particular project is really nice if you want to batch make some Christmas cards because you could be doing these in all different colours. You don't just have to stick to red. You could be doing them in blues or you could do them in pastel colours as well. That would look fab. So you can see there how I've just cut the, um, the corner out. And we're going to do exactly the same with the other corner. So we're going to cut this one around here. Sorry, I do have to just keep tilting this a little bit just so I can kind of see what I'm doing and where I'm going. Okay, so you can see how we've got those cut out there. So what we're going to do next is we're going to emboss another two layers, but we're going to do these onto matte mirror. Okay, so I've got my pieces of matte mirror here, so I'm going to take my first one. Again, I'm going to place my folder in. Make sure that that Chloe's Creative Cards is on the back, because that's going to be your debossed side, and we want the embossed side on the matte mirror. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to run this through, and we're going to iron machine again. So I'm using my clear base plate and my plastic shim to run this through. you can see how we've got that beautiful embossed design. And you can really see how those petals are all sculpted and we've got that beautiful design in the middle there. So what we're gonna do now is cut this out again. So just using our scissors, and roughly, I always like to roughly cut out as well, I just find it a little bit easier personally. And then I cut out properly after that, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to start, I'm going to trim off the petals that are in the background. So if I bring the finished sample in, I don't know whether you, can you see the difference in the texture? So you can see how the bigger petals in the base here are like a more shiny mirror card than the ones on the top of the matte mirror card, okay? So what we're going to do is cut these top layers out now. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to go in and I'm going to trim around this one first. Okay. 
Okay, so that's the first one there. And then the next one, we're going to do exactly the same again. So we're going to just keep working round. So we're going to just trim in again and just take away those petals that are in the background. So we're going to take our embossing folder, doesn't want to open this one, there we go. Take our embossing folder, we're going to pop our card into the folder and then we're going to run this through our diagram machine. Okay. I mean, I always save all these little scraps as well because they are really handy for cutting out any of your little Ponsetta dies, anything like that too. You can be using these in lots of different ways. So I always like to hold on to these little bits and pieces. Okay, I'm going to make great little extra tags and things for your projects as well if you just want to add a little bit of colour onto there. So I'm going to just trim around here. Like so. And then we're going to cut the, um, the top layer out here. So what we're going to do is trim around. So I'm just working my way around, trimming this out with my scissors. So again, I'm always moving the paper and feeding it in towards the scissors, like so. So you can see how we've got that piece done there as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a piece of cut and dry ball and I'm just going to grab a red ink pad. Okay, so I found that I've got this, the Spectrum Noir quick dry ink pad, which is not really meant for this technique, but for what we're going to do, it'll be absolutely fine. You had like a copy or um, a red marker pen, that would work brilliantly to do this as well. So literally, all I'm going to do is just take a little bit of ink and just rub it along the edge of the card. And the reason that I'm doing this is because this is mirror card, it's going to have a white core. Okay? And when you layer it up, you tend to see the white core a little bit more. So I personally just like to kind of go along and just hide Hide the core there of the, of the card. Okay. So just work our way around. Just keep packing a little bit of ink along each edge. And like I say, you can just do this with a marker pen and just drag it around. Um, I'm just using a little bit of cut and dry foam so I've actually got my marker pens here with me, but either or works absolutely fine. And it just takes away that kind of the harsh white edge. Because when I made when I was making these, I thought I was like, oh I don't like the white edge. 
Um, and then I just thought, oh, I'll put a little bit of ink on and just see if that works. And actually it does, it just takes the, the kind of harshness, if that's a word, the harshness away from the edge. Okay, so I'm just continuing working around, just adding that little bit of ink just on the edges. Okay, so that'll then be done. I'm going to just give my hands a little light for the day, like, just because I always um, panic about the, <laughs> the ink going onto my card. So I'll just give my hands a little rub over there. Okay. There we go. Right. So we'll pop these to one side and then we're just going to start to layer our background design up. Actually, we're not quite going to do that yet. We're going to um, add a little bit of glitter onto the poncettas to start with. Okay, so we're going to grab these in. We only are going to add glitter onto the matte mirror layers. So these are like the two top layers. Okay, so I do like to add like a little bit of shape just between my finger and thumb. To these just to kind of add that little bit of depth and dimension to the petals. I don't stress about it too much. I just like to add like just a little bit in the to them. Okay, and then we'll take a little bit of 3D glue gel and stick these together. Now it's always worth just working out which petals marry up with which one. So I was right the first time. That one goes on there, like so. Then we'll put a little bit of um, glue gel just on the back. So you can see there's a tiny bit of ink that kind of bleeds onto the back, but you don't really don't need to worry about that because you're not going to see it anywhere. So we're going to place this down under here. Like so. That's that layer down. And we'll do exactly the same with the next one, just a little bit of glue. This is 3D glue as well. You, you do want a 3D glue when you're sticking this together. And then we're going to place this down onto our card. Like so. So then you can see how those little corners come really nicely together. Okay. So what we're going to do now is take our dry clear PVA glue again. And we're going to go in and just add some tiny little dots of glue. Just starting in the centre of the poncettas and working our way out. If I hold this up to the camera in a minute, you'll be able to see exactly what I mean. there you can see how I've just added the little dots okay so what I'm going to do now is cover this with my red poncetta glitter so this is a really nice holographic red glitter so this actually came out of the poncetta collection so you can see that one there and then we just sprinkle this over tap away the excess and you can see how it just adds that little bit of sparkle under the poncetta there. So we're going to do that on both layers, so on both of the corners. So we're going to do exactly the same on the other one. Just go in with tiny little dots of glue. Like so. And you don't have to be kind of too careful, you can just go in with the little dots got another about like so. So hold that one up again. You can see how we've got the dots on there. And then we'll cover that with the red poncetta glitter again. So we'll just sprinkle that over, tap away the excess, and then you can see how we've got the lovely um, glitter in the background there. Okay, I'm going to pop these the glitter back into the jar and then we're going to start and work on our base card. So what I'm going to do is pop those to one side for now 
I'm going to bring my 7x7 seven seven base card in. I'm also going to grab another piece of scrap paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to glitter the edges of the actual base card. So I've taken a piece of scrap paper and I've placed it inside of the card blank. So then we can just start to add in the glitter along the side. So I've got one of our chisel tip glue pens. So this is one of the new ones. They have unfortunately sold out, but we do have them on reorder, so these will be in by the end of the month. So I was like to give it a little prime, and then what we're going to do is drag the glue along the edge of the card, like so, and then we're going to cover it with the silver crystal glitter. So we're going to take this, I'm just going to take a little piece of scrap card again, and just cover with the glitter, like so, and then you can see how it just gives that lovely glittery edge to your card blank. So we're going to do this on each side of the card. So I'm going to start again, I'm just priming my pen up a little bit there. Drag that along that side. If you just always drag that pen towards you, that's going to help to keep your line nice and straight. Then along the spine of the card as well. The cut and dry form is not going to act as a leaf for my glue pen, is it? <laughs> so we'll cover this. A little bit of that silver glitter. So this is silver crystal. And sparklicious. Okay. So you can see how we've got a lovely little glittery border just going down the edge of the card blank there. Okay, so I hold that up. There we go. You can see that little bit of sparkle that we've just got going on there. So what I'm going to do now is continue on with my mats and layers. So I've got a piece of red matte mirror and I've got a piece of the geometric Christmas foiled paper as well. If you want that geometric Christmas foiled paper pad, we have not got many left at all, so please do hop on over to the website and um, pop that one in your basket because there's not many left of those at all. So what I'm going to do now is start to matte and layer this up. I think there's a little bit of uh, glue in this bottle. I'm hoping there is. <laughs> there we go. So just a little tiny, tiny bit of the Kalal all-purpose glue just on the back. Okay, so I'm going to stick this down onto my mat mirror, like so. And I think this works really well because it like shows you the different shades of red as well. And then we are going to pop a little bit more glue under here. I think I need to invest in a new bottle, don't I? I'm really on the, the last little dregs out of this one. <laughs> so a little bit of glue just on the back. And so, luckily, the next two layers are four bags, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm terrible for that. I like to use every little last drop of glue out of the bottle. Right, so I'm going to pop that onto there. So that's going into our base card. Like so, so you can see how beautiful that then looks. Okay. And then we're going to grab in, we've got a square, another square of matte mirror now, I will be gutting the middle out of my card here. I'm just going to see how that looks. So there's a little bit too much of a border. So what I like to do is when I've trimmed my foam, uh, not my foam, my embossed toppers down, I always do it by eye. So what I like to do is go in with my mirror card and then I just tend to decide how much of a border that I want. I don't tend to kind of measure it as normal. So I'm just going to trim a little bit off here because it's just a little bit, a little bit too big, I think. Put in the okay, and then we're just going to layer these together. So they'll go together like so, and then this will then go onto our base card. I'm going to take a little bit more off that side there because that's not square. Take a little fraction. 
And then you've got a feet. We'll end it with a four stitch stamp by the end, won't we? and start to wear these up. So of course I am using the fabulous foam pads from our foam pads on a roll which are amazing and you get so so many of those in the box. So what we're going to do is pop some foam pads into the back of here. So we'll just start to layer this up. Okay, and then this will go down on our base card. So we're just going to peel the back off of here. Like so. That's going to go down onto our card blank. And then we'll pop some more foam pads onto here. Just start to layer. Uh, One up like so. Just quickly whip the backs off of these. Okay, and then we're going to pop a pancetta in each bottom corner, in each corner, sorry. So that will go in there like so. So you can see how that's starting to come really nicely together now. Get rid of these foam pads back in. Pack those in the bin. Okay. And then we're going to add our pancetas just into the corners. So to do this, we're going to grab a little bit of 3D glue gel. And we'll just decide how we're going to, which one's which. It helps if you put the, the mirror one down first, doesn't it? So we're going to pick these out and we're going to just work out which one's which. So that one's for the bottom and then this one's for the top. So again, I'm going to just shape the petals between my finger and thumb a little bit and then stick these down onto my card line. So you see it starts to look a little bit more poncetta like now. So a little bit of glue gel just onto the back and then we'll stick this one under there. And then I'm going to stick this one in the top corner as well. So a little bit of glue just under here. It's going to go just down into there, like so. So you can see how that's coming really nicely together. And then we're going to grab in. Our little matte mirror pan setters. So these are then going to go on top. And this embossing folder is gorgeous. I'm going to grab one of the cards in from the background in a moment to show you that um, Barbara's made using this um, this particular embossing folder. And she's done it all in white and silver. And it looks totally, totally different. Uh, the 3D glue gel is all on the website. So I think the one that we've got in stock at the moment comes with a little syringe and two bowls. Um, but I'm just using the tube. Okay, so that then goes onto there. I'm going to get rid of the red, red glitter from the background there. So you can see how pretty that is then starting to look. Okay, so what we're going to do now is grab in our little festive fancies balloon box. Okay, so we're going to take of these red jewels so we're going to grab a couple of those just to go into the middle of the poncettas okay and then we're going to put a blob of glue in the middle stick that one into there and that one into there and then to make the little centers what i did is just went around with some um self-adhesive jewels so i had some little Got these ones that are like three mil, they're a little bit bigger, I think they're probably about the right size to be fair. And then all I do is go in, I grab my forky tool, and then I just go in and just add my little self-adhesive 
jewels just around the edge of the the bigger jewel if that makes sense so that one goes in there they want to stick it's a little bit fiddly this but it does look pretty when it's done so it's definitely worth it you can just go around adding these in I'm trying to like lean back so you don't get <laughs> get the shot of my, my roots in the camera there but just keep working around another one in here so and one more there so if I hold that up you can see how we've created that little jewel centre in the middle there. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly the same on this one center at the top. And I think by adding that little bit of silver in as well, it just kind of breaks the colours up and it makes the red pop a little bit more. in these jewels in. Pop that one there. Okay. So when we hold that up, you can see how pretty that then looks on the little poncettas. So what I'm going to do now is just take some jewels and start to randomly dot them in the background. Now I am going to use some from, this will be something that's coming soon. Ignore the two shades of pink in the middle because we've changed them. This is the actual sample box. So this is a bling box but it's filled with pearls. And within this particular box you get some beautiful AB pearls. So this one's called Chloe's Favourites. We don't have um, a launch date for this one yet. Um, but seeing as I had these little pearls here, I thought I might as well use them. So what I'm going to do is just start to randomly dot some pieces of, of glue all over the background, like so. And I would like some tweezers to have some little rummage and material box here. So what I'm going to do is just take the tweezers and just start to place the little jewels into position on here. So these are really pretty. These are like pearls but with an AB coating. These look gorgeous on your projects. Okay, so I'm just going to place these down onto my finished card. And see how you can really start to build up your background and it just starts to make it all come together and pop a little bit more okay so then i'm going to add another one just in here i think okay so that's going to go oops, that's going to go down there and then what i'm going to do is just add a few more kind of um self-adhesive jewels just into the background, okay? So to do that, I've just got a couple of different sizes here. So I've obviously got the three mil ones that we use in the middle. So we can just start to dot a few of these about in the background. these in here like so okay and then what I think I'll also do is 
just take some smaller, like the little two millimetre jewels and just add a few of these. Just dot them in and around the background really. So just add a few of these just in and around. I'm just like flipping them all across the table here. I'm going to find them all on the floor when I finish our bat. <laughs> so we'll just work around adding these in. One there. There's a little one there as well. Okay. So then if I hold this up and you can see how we've just started to build a little bit of sparkle and bling into the background, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a piece of crystal white card, okay? I'm going to stamp them off the sentiment ready to go on in the corner. So to do that, I've got my acrylic block and I've taken the Holly Tash stamp and die set, okay? And I've taken a Tis the Season sentiment from the stamp set and popped it onto my acrylic block. I'm going to take an anti setter card, hopefully if I can find it in the drawer. Grab this and then we're just going to give it a little dust over. So a bit of anti static on there. And we also want our clear and box ink pad. Okay, so we're going to take this, we're going to ink the power stamp. So lots of tapping all over. I'm going to place that down and press. I'm going to cover this in some metallic silver super fine embossing powder. So I'm going to go straight back into the jar and then I'm going to heat this up. Okay? So we're going to hold the heat and stir and then we are going to move this over the image. There we go. And then we're going to grab in our Holly Tag die set. So I'm going to take the smallest die from the middle. We're going to place that over the top. And then we're going to take our removable low tack tape and we're going to tape the die into place. Like so. so I'm going to grab these two in. It's going to tape down there. And that is going to tape down there. Then we'll run this through our Gemini machine again. And then take our plates. I personally don't put the magnetic shoe in in my Gemini when I'm dye cutting. I find that just the two plates and the plastic chain are enough. So I'm just going to run this through. And we're going to lift that off. And we're going to take that out so you can see how you've got the lovely tag design of the stitching running around the edge there. Okay, and then what we're going to do, I'm just going to pop that one onto there. And then you can see how we've got that lovely little sentiment tag there. So what we're going to do now is take another piece of scrap paper and we're going to just drag um, a little tip blue pen all the way around the edge. I'm going to take my silver crystal glitter again and I'm just going to run around the edge of here. So I'm going to just pull my chisel tip glue pen towards me and then tap away the excess. So I'm going to go all the way around Oops. like so. that away. Okay. And we'll pop our tag just in the top corner. I think 
what I'll do is pop a double layer of foam pads behind this just to make it pop a little bit more off the project. Layer those together. There's foam on the back. I'll get stuck down onto there. So you can see how bad that then looks on the corner. We're going to take our frosted berries ribbon. I'm just going to cut this bow off that I've already tied. And that'll show you how to tie on. This ribbon is gorgeous. So it's like red, but can you see how it's got the silver? Oh, can I get it in there? The silver sparkle running through. It is so, so pretty. So what I'm going to do is tie a double bow. So I'm going to wrap it around my index finger, like so. Okay. And then I'm going to wrap it around my third finger. So it's like a figure of eight in effect. Wrap it around our first finger and wrap it around the third finger. Okay, like so. Then we're going to take the length of ribbon and we're going to grab it at the back with our thumb. And then we're going to take the shorter length. So we've crossed the long length all the way over. We're going to take the shorter length. We're going to tuck it all the way around. So you can see how it then gathers the ribbon in the middle and just tie a knot at the back and it is that easy, okay? So we're going to just pull that into a knot, there. And it always gets stuck on my fingers at this point, so I'm going to carefully <laughs> try to wiggle it off a little bit. And there we go. And then we're going to trim the ends down. So I'm going to trim this one here. And then we're going to trim this one here. Then I'm going to put a little bit of glue gel just onto here. So that's then going to hold that into place. And we're also going to take a big red bling stone from the bling box. Look at how much bling you get in here. You get loads. So you get the blue, the green, and it's like a nice green. It's like a more muted green. It's not in your face. You've got the lovely deep red, and then you've got the gorgeous gold as well. And the gold looks beautiful in the sense of flowers and things. So it's really, really a lovely, lovely um, little bling box to use this one. And of course, they come in that little storage box with the clip on, so they're good to go and the nicely stored. And if you want to hang them up, they do have a little um, hanger on the top too. So we're going to stick our bow onto our card. So just drop a glue gel on the back of there. And then a little bit of glue onto the back of the jewel. If we just hold that up, you can then see that that will then be your beautiful finished project. Okay, so you can see how everything comes together. We've used the mirror card, we've used the matte mirror, we've used the embossing folder as well. So you can see how it all comes together really, really nicely. So I really hope that you both enjoyed today's stamp along. Are you going to be recreating this project? I want to see lots and lots of finished projects in the Stamp Cycle Facebook group. If we do, that would be absolutely awesome. If you haven't done so already, please do hop onto the page and give us a like. Something happened today as well. I got um, a notification to say that we were live. It actually flashed up on my phone. So if you haven't been so already on Facebook, turn the notifications on. Then you'll get a little um, a reminder on your phone or your tablet to let you know that we're live on Facebook, which is quite cool. Um, so yes, so please do that. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to the channel because we have got loads of inspirational videos. Again, I apologise for the sound, but hopefully we'll get, we'll get it sorted in the next couple of weeks. We just need to get soundproofing tiles up. So thank you all so much for joining me today. I'm just going to move it around so that you can see me on the camera. So thank you everyone for joining me today. Um, I think there will be a stand along next week from memory. I can't remember what we're doing. I don't think I've planned it yet. But yes, so please do keep an eye on the page. Sign up to the email at cubbiescreativecards.co.uk and you will get an email letting you know what the project is every single week. We'll also send out lots of emails with inspirational blog posts as well. So you can hop over and have a look on the blog and craft along. They've all got step-by-step -step instructions. So you'll be able to have a look on there too. There is loads of inspiration on the website. So thank you everyone for joining me today and please do hop over to Chloe's Creative Cards .co.uk and have a look at all of the fabulous goodies that we've got. See you soon. Bye.